set, racing away from the 1200 meter marker. Shona Kirsty Ives is right there. Kylie's Fate ridden to respond on the outside of Perfect Appeal. Black Cap of Fortune Doors right there getting a free run through to the rail. Poppy of Bayou the Red Cap Spirited Flight follows suit. Then we have Maggie T. Pour some sugar on me. Six seven lengths off at the eight peg. Jade's Cabernet O de V. Then further back in the running is Stealth Attack and Stealth Attack must be nine lengths off the leaders. Kitty Boy's Girl towards the back end. Top of the lane just on 450 to go and Fort Jador has a length and a half to spare. Perfect appeals on the outside. Red Cap Poppy a Bayou to the inside. Spirited Flight is going to come around them. Kylie's Fate looking to run on late on. Coming inside the last 150 metres. In front Fort Jador. Spirited Flight second by this length and a half but Fort Jador repelling all challenges kicks into overdrive and winnings the game spirited flight second poppy by you third kylie's fate ran fourth so in action number six fort jador reeling off the hat trick under kelvin abib for the wendy whitehead stable miss haddon mr gat wendy whitehead Bred by the Ralph Syndicate, Fort Jador. Calvin Abib knows her exceptionally well. She's won her last two, and now she makes it three in a row. Spirited Flight second, Poppy Bayou third. Kylie's Fate, Shona Kirsty Ives, pour some sugar on me. Fort Jador got a perfect run. Got a cross. And as they turned for home, shot away from the opposition. Spirited Flight was the only apparent danger coming to the 250 with Poppy of Bayou on the inside. But the last 150 meters, Fort Jador had other ideas and kicked into another gear to reel off the hat trick. There's a nice side on shot of the daughter of Captain of All doing what she is bred to do and that is to win victory number four from the 13 race course appearances pricks her ears past the post